It's Wednesday already and countdown to the weekend just started. I'm UK Botter, ready to give you some of the trending stories that is happening today. But before then, please hit the subscription button, like, subscribe and share. Nigerian record producer ID Kabasa has said Grammy winning singer Bonoboy's recent claim that he turned down a $5 million offer to perform in Dubai, United Arab Emirates because Emirati law prohibits smoking in public was probably a media stunt. ID Kabasa spoke in the latest episode of the Honest Bunch podcast, co hosted by actor Nedu. It will recall that Bonner Boy, during a rehearsal with his band Outsiders, claimed that he rejected $5 million to perform in Dubai because he wouldn't be allowed to smoke weed while there. Another trending gist that's topping the entertainment industry is the banter between CDQ and Odumodu Black. So, this is what happened. Famous singer CDQ has responded to his colleague Odumodu Black, who had exposed him of lying after he said that he does not like his music. CDQ, in a recent interview, had stated that he does not comprehend what Charlie Poppy and his colleague Odumodu Black are singing. However, Odumodu Black shared a screenshot where CDQ came to his DM to praise his music. Ha! There was a cut. Reacting to this, CDQ explained that because he likes his sound does not necessarily mean that he likes his music lyrics. Afrobeat singer Wizkid causes a buzz as a video of him speaking to Pupil at his childhood school pops up on social media. Following the event, while still in Nigeria, the singer decided to pay a visit to the school he had attended during his childhood. The video, which surfaced online, shows the Grammy Award winning artist speaking to the student who kept trying to get a touch of him. While speaking to them, he made gestures signifying them to calm down. However, the background music made it impossible to hear what the Joro singer was saying to the poor pills. And finally, from my own corner, Oscar winner Will Smith has denied fresh claims he had sex with actor Dwayne Martin in a statement issued by his representative. Brother Bilal, who claims to be Smith's former friend and assistant, made the allegations in an explicit interview with Tasha K. It comes after the actor's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, 52, revealed that they have been secretly separated for seven years. A rep for the Oscar winning actor told TMZ that there was no truth to the allegation, which was made by his one time friend and assistant brother Bilal in an interview with Tasha K. Brother Bilal in the interview told the YouTube show on Wine with Tasha K that he saw the 55 year old star and Martin engage in a sex act in Martin's dressing room. And now a rep for the Philadelphia native called the allegations made by brother Bilal completely fabricated while a source told the outlet that Smith was considering taking legal action. Ever since the story busted on social media, a lot of readers did not find the reveal sensible, thereby calling brother Bellal a snitch and never a friend. I hope to update you in the coming days of some of the stories that I've talked about because I know there will be a background story to some of them. Catch me in my next video.